Come on, load in. There you go, buddy. Now there's such a fucking delay on the stream. Like, holy shit, it's a long delay, too. Yeah, no, like the delay's like 17 seconds right now. That's not good. That is not what I want. Oh well, we can worry about that later. All right, now then. Yes, yes, yes. Alright, let me invite you in. Do we have anyone else who joined in? No, we do not. Alright. Time to use the French at a low BR. Woo. And again, sorry for the people in Twitch and on YouTube. There is at least a five second delay right now for no fucking reason that I can I can't fix it. So we have to deal with that now. I wonder if I can just go like this. I'm gonna go to the A point, so I'm I'm going this way. Gonna keep on going. It's what we gotta do. We just gotta keep on our rolling. And then we gotta also hope that I don't get fucking shot in 3.3 .3 fucking seconds. Which is surprisingly common. Not really, but it, it's still common.
Please tell me he doesn't see me. We don't talk about that first shot. We just don't talk about the first shot that I took to get that guy. We will not talk about that first shot because I hit the rock. <laughs> don't worry, we just don't talk about that first shot because I hit the rock by accident. I have the AD for 10, will that do anything? I don't know. All I know is the enemies are around the area and they are in force. That's a one, Nikhil. Where's the other team? Oh, we are about to do them dirty, by the way. As long as we can avoid the uh, detection of aircraft, we will be somewhat fine. Don't worry, I'm an AA for... Yeah, but at the same time, bombs. They have bombs. Have yeah, but they have bombs. <laughs> I have 80 mils of pin. I will one shot. Again, but, but, but they have bombs. Back up! Back up! <laughs> I felt that. That's an IS! <laughs> Can you shoot his gun out real quick? Provide cover. He's literally right on the other side of this rock. If I go out, I'm dead. If you go out, he might get distracted by you, take a shot, and miss. <laughs> Fucking Russian bias bullshit. Got his track. Yeah, th that does nothing now. I'm dead. Fucking Russians. Fucking Russian players. We don't need them in the game. We don't want them in the game. Fucking remove Russia. Yeah, bye bye, Russians. Just, just, just tactically remove the Russians. Why do we need them in the game? They just sit around and do bias shit all day. I'm gonna go back up there. I'm going to shoot the IS, and I'm gonna kill the IS. What? Why do you think there's so many 11.0 Russian tanks compared to every other nation? Because, well, yeah. Most of their fan base is Russian. I mean, who cares about the actual fan base? Who cares what the people actually play? We just need they, one they tree. All we need is a couple trees, and then we'll be golden. And I think I see that fucker as well. I need God to work on my side. Oh, he's driving backwards, the pansy. But I'm feeling pretty lucky. Uh, you know, I'll just wait for him. I will gladly just fucking wait for him. <laughs> he doesn't think I'll wait for him, but I'm going to fucking wait him out now. Because he's driving backwards and being a pansy. King IL2, I had a shot on him. I hate IL. Love. I'm fucking waiting for this guy. I don't care about anything else going on. Hey, what's up? I am now waiting for one person because he's driving backwards like the IS pansy he is.
Book up the edge. Ah, uh, you fucked up, good sir. I fucking waited for him to. Yeah, I literally was just like, yeah, you don't get to exist right now. Just casually don't exist. Your, your existence is inconvenient. Be gone. Ha <laughs> ha, didn't know where to look. You were looking behind you, but you should have been looking in front of you. <laughs> Fucking IS players being pansies. They don't rush in with the frontal armor, they rush in backwards, like, goddamn. I know that the IS too can take engine shots like god knows what, but it's smarter to go in with your, you know, armor, not your engine. Because if you lose your engine, you have no turret traverse speed. Yeah, if you lose your engine, you ain't, you're, you're slowly dying out. Well, the thing is with the IS-1 and 2, they have very slow turret traverse speeds, so it's better to use them as a maneuverability turret fighter rather than just a straight-up turret fighter. And by maneuverability turret, I mean, like, you use your tracks and your engine to actually help you move around. Nah, 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 IS players, nah, we're gonna play the other way. We're gonna play the way that we're not the both to play. And look at that, a critical hit on a Russian tank, but yet the Russian tank is able to one-shot me. Like, bruh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but like... Also, thank you very much for the fall. But, like, I'm sorry, but I had my shit, like, on an angle that, you know, a T-34 should not have been able to penetrate through. He was not shooting the flat on my armor, he was shooting on, like, the corner. But... Uh, it's fucking Russian bullshit. It's not it's not Russian bias anymore, it's just Russian bullshit. Like, honestly. It's a lot. Uh, a T-34 is probably still there, but that heavy tank, it should be able to deal with it. And a fucking course. Bullshit Russia. Now I have the chance to really good. Fucking here here's what I would do to balance this game out. First off, I would actually go with realistic figures of, of Russian vehicles. Like, ah yes, their shells were designed to only do this, not actually fucking do this. Like that's what I would fucking do. I would actually rebalance this shit. Well, here's the thing. I would... Cause this is the thing that I don't like. For whatever reason, Gaijin actually gave some Russian shells a buff compared to what their actual, in real life, fucking shit was. And I'm giving... I'm mainly talking about the shit in World War II, right? They gave the Russian shit a buff, but they didn't give anything else a buff. So what if, you know... You gave everything else a proper fucking shell. Like, for example, the 37 millimeters on any of those Russian tanks would be doing 50 millimeters less penetration. The shit on the fucking 85 millimeters would be doing about 25 less penetration. Anything with a 76 would be doing like 58 less penetration. Rather than basing it off, oh, we want to give the Russian tanks a buff. No, no, no. If you give everything else the realistic numbers. Then give the Russian shit realistic numbers and stop fucking God knows what doing to Russia. Like, fuck. Excuse me, sure. In their terms, too, it's so annoying, like, how they, they... They don't add anything good, like, they... That was when Nathan has the best all-around as the Russian. Not one bit of Russia has ever been bad. But all the other nations have their flaws. Well, that's the thing, like, why not add the realistic numbers? Then a lot of people, rather than playing Russia, would probably play, like, other quote-unquote minor nation trees. Like, fuck, most of the French tanks would be better. Well, here's the thing that I find funny, right? 
the KV-2 would literally be the definition of useless. Because the, the thing is, the KV-2, sure, it did have its AP shell. But its AP shell was a definition of, ah, yes, I can literally do nothing. Its HG shell was just designed to go, ah, yes, I'm going to go through a building. Like, there are some tanks in this game that actually piss me off with how unrealistic their shells are. Ironically enough, one of the more realistic nations...